Uh, next up, we've got Guillaume Abouchon from Digital Film Tree. So come on up, Guillaume. We're going to have a seat. Mark, it's good to be. I can call you Mark, right? Sure. Yeah. Sweet. It's fine. <sighs> Whatever you're into, Guillaume. Look, I, you look like somebody, I don't know, I know you're from Hollywood, you're from TV world, like you just. Piston party last night. Oh, wow. <laughs> Woo! I don't know, you just, you look familiar. I, I feel like we should be doing this, this, you know, between two ferns. I don't know. I think we should. It just seems like that would be more appropriate. A little something for you. Ah, biggest conference yet. You got to tip them. 20s now. No more singles. Really? Times yeah. have changed. Times have changed. Economy's getting tougher. Huh. So, you know, what the heck are we doing here? You're doing some OpenStack thing? Or <sighs> what? Yeah, doing some OpenStack. Um, you, know, uh, you know, have you ever practiced the ancient art of origami? I can't say that I have, no. Japanese paper folding. So uh, uh, OpenStack is like origami. And you can, you can sort of take like a flat sheet of paper, and you can fold it into a beautiful crane. And that's like software-defined paper. I see. It's, uh, let's shape it, mold it, lotus, lotus. That's a big insight. Yeah. Thank you. As I just came up with that on yeah. the uh, bus ride over here from the Piston Party. Yeah. Um, okay. So what else can you tell us about, about OpenStack? Oh, you know, oddly enough, not just oddly enough, I. oddly enough, little known fact, uh, proprietary clouds killed 25,000 people last year. Wow. I mean, you guys crushed, not... crushed under the loads of their own servers. You know I love data. I mean, if I known we could have had a graph, but OK. Um, sure. Yeah, uh, 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 open clouds, no one killed. Hmm. Maybe one. OK. Unconfirmed. Unconfirmed reports. OK. So uh, anything else that we should be aware of? What, what, what goes on in those, those server rooms of, of I, yours? I think I mean, the, I'm not uh, sure if I actually want to know now that I ask it. Um, yeah, there's a, it's a frightening place to be alone at night. Uh, but the, the, you know, the, the biggest thing we're introducing this year, you know, the, really why I'm here and why I feel like the biggest contribution we can make to the community is um, something we like to call SWAS. So that's a sweater as a service. <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, uh, IT... SWAS or SWAS? Sw like SWAS. Okay. Um, it's uh, um, sort of South American. Uh, in its pronunciation. Uh, but the, the, you know, SWAS, IT professionals are exposed to hypothermia every day <laughs> in data centers. And um, we want to make sure that there are sweaters hanging there for them to just grab at a moment's notice. They feel a little bit chilled. They're just sitting there and they're like, ah, I'm so cold, I can't write code anymore. They can grab a sweater. Well, hopefully OpenStack has produced enough of this kind of uh, clothing, apparel, if you will, to keep, keep everybody safe. All right, well, in all, in all seriousness, uh, why don't we actually uh, bid adieu to, to Zach and, and hear from Guillaume again. So, so you, you actually are, in addition to uh, cracking me up backstage, you're also with this company, Digital Film Tree. Yes. We heard a bit about what you guys do in Hong Kong, but you're, you're part of how television gets made you know, what is that exactly? What does Digital Film Tree actually do? Um, we're a full service uh, television and film post production facility in Los Angeles. And, um, you know, we take content from camera acquisition throughout that entire finishing process um, out all the way to distribution. So, we um, work on shows like Modern Family, NCIS Los Angeles. Uh, we did Her last year. And, um, you know, we're really trying to sort of change the industry in a positive way that, that I feel will 
save the industry in many ways. So I know that um, you know, you're a smaller company. A lot of people think OpenStack is only for big companies. We were talking about this yesterday, and you, you were very excited about you know, the fact that a smaller company can be a part of a big mission. You know, how, does that, how do you feel about that? Is that true? Yeah, I mean, we, um, we stood up our first OpenStack deployment. We only have four people um, that concentrate on OpenStack. And we stood it up in six months. And OpenStack is now the cornerstone to um, you know, almost every television show we do, um, including not only uh, an OpenStack instance that we have at DFT, but also uh, on-site instances of OpenStack that we run right in uh, an editorial environment on two of our shows. So you've talked uh, in some of the videos we've seen, uh, somebody, people may recognize you from you know, your TV show as well as the videos here. Um, but you know, what is it about the, the, your career that you felt was you know, possible now? You were saying that you know, maybe the industry was, was dying. There was a lot of, a lot of people uh, predicting its demise. So you know, how, how, does that, how has that changed your career trajectory? Um, I read a highly depressing Yahoo article about four years ago, and it said, the industries that will go away in 10 years. And I went down that list, and it was like, print? OK, yeah, I could see that going away in 10 years. Eh, what are you going to do? <laughs> um, and then I got to the bottom of the list, and it said, post-production for TV and film. And I was like, aw. <laughs> like, I got I to gotta find something else to do with my life. Yeah. The, I, oh, but there goes that 12 years of a career. Sweet. Um, so, it, you know, we, we really felt that um, by moving in a more software-oriented direction, um, what we like to call is software-defined post-production, um, that, you know, we can offer a, a much higher level of service to the creative professional and, and really keep post-production services relevant. That's great. So, you know, you're, the tools that your uh, industry uses, you know, I think Traditionally, they're they're very expensive. There's a very small community. You know, obviously, you're now using a, a OpenStack as a big part of, of your workflow. That's a tool used by a much bigger community. I mean, how is that different in terms of you know how that makes up your strategy? It makes a tremendous impact in terms of how efficient we can be as a company. You know, using open source software and being able to to reach out to a, all of these people in the audience to say hey, have you done this before? Or go to a blog post where somebody's done that before is tremendously beneficial. Prior to this, you know, we were using software that could cost a quarter of a million dollars. And there may only be 30 or other 40 companies that are using that piece of software. You know, your, your blog, your wiki page was having the cell phone number of the guy who wrote the software to begin with. Because the company who wrote the software is only two people. So, you know, it, By the way, I have Vish's cell phone number if, if you're, that's what you're looking for. Absolutely. I will take that any day. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, you know, we really uh, you know, found it tremendously helpful to, to enter this community and, and have the support of thousands and thousands of people behind us. So what do you want to see happening in the community moving forward? You're a big part of it now. Um, you know, how do you want to see the community evolve? You know, we've always been tremendous advocates of communication and education in whatever we do. And, you know, I really think the next evolution of OpenStack is really to educate a broader scope of people so that there's, there's a broader spectrum of professionals for us to hire. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the problems we have, particularly in Los Angeles, is that, you know, we just can't reach out and uh, hire uh, an IT professional who's fluent in OpenStack. It's, a, it's still sort of highly specialized in that way. So continuing to grow the education efforts are important. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Guillaume. Appreciate you playing along. Thank you. Everyone in the audience. Go OpenStack. <laughs> thank you very much.